Hi friends! Sorry in advance if you hear some like whooping sounds. I don't know what alarm is going off, but it's there. <laughs> I have a couple of products that I've been loving that I wanted to share with you all today. So let's get started. We'll start with clothes. I feel like I started with clothes the last time I did one of these videos, but it just so happens that if it's something that I really like, I'm usually wearing it. So this shirt is a recent Amazon find and I absolutely love it. It has this really nice kind of ribbed texture to it and the color is a very beautiful neutral beigey color. I love wearing t-shirts or just tops with sleeves on it. So I wanted something that was like a t-shirt but a little bit more dressy and I found this piece on Amazon and I think it's absolutely perfect. It's also not very expensive so it's such a good find and it's beautiful now for the summer but I think it'll definitely be good for the fall as well. But yeah, it's just a nice way to dress up an outfit so I can still wear jeans but add a little bit of texture to my top. So I absolutely love this piece and I've been wearing it a lot. Two more clothing pieces. I've been so into shoes lately. I feel like I've always been into shoes but I've always been a sneaker girl because of my chronic back pain so I never really looked into cute shoe options but then i found these beautiful silver mary janes from dr shoals and to tell you that i'm obsessed with them i am obsessed with them <laughs> they didn't require any break-in period i wore them the first day that i got them and we went on a date and my husband parked kind of far away so we had to like walk to and from the venue and i was perfectly fine no blisters no pain anywhere my back didn't feel any pain which is freaking crazy to me because usually if my shoes are even a little bit flat aka not a sneaker <laughs> i'm usually usually in pain but I didn't feel any pain with these shoes and I guess it's because of that really cushioned insole that Dr. Scholl's is well known for so I'm just absolutely obsessed with them I also love even though I'm very much like a gold girly I'm always wearing gold jewelry I love the idea of a chrome shoe it matches with so many more things than I thought it would and it just adds a little something unique to an outfit so even if I'm just wearing jeans and a t-shirt or jeans and a tank top and I pop them on it already looks like wow she's like kind of fashionable or whatever <laughs> but I'm, I'm definitely not and then going along with the dr shoals i realized i don't know why i never thought about this but i realized that i could just buy insoles and put them into whatever shoe i want to potentially make them more comfortable so i've been wanting the adidas sambas for so long so i finally decided to get them and just wear them with insoles and see what happens and it's worked out great i'll link the insoles that i've been using but i've been loving wearing these shoes they're still not as comfortable as like a good sneaker is y'all know that i'm a nike girl through and through <laughs> but it's definitely made them much more wearable so i can still go out for like a short walk or something and it would be fine which is really all i need obviously i wouldn't wear them to like travel maybe if i'm in japan and i know i'm going to be walking like 25,000 steps per day i probably wouldn't go for those because they still are a little bit flat and less cushioned but just for like regular day-to-day -day use or if i want to go out on a little casual date they're perfect for me with the insoles and a little pro tip that I shared on my Instagram when I first got them is with any shoe, especially the more like well-known popular ones that are kind of expensive to buy from the kids section. So I'm normally a six and a half and I bought the five and a half in the kids version for the Sambas and they fit perfectly. And I think the Sambas are regularly like a hundred something and I think I paid like 80 something. So I saved myself a pretty decent amount just by buying the kids version. So don't sleep on the kids shoe section. I do the same thing with my Nikes as well. My latest pair of Nikes, I think I paid like 60 bucks for them because they were from the kids section so don't sleep on the kids section now moving on to some purses i bought a black purse and a green purse in june and i don't know why that like awakened my need to buy handbags i've just been so into them and i think it's because i like to wear really simple outfits like i'm very much a jeans and a t-shirt kind of gal so i feel like accessories like jewelry or like handbags and shoes they really elevate an outfit so i've definitely been investing in some more purses and my latest obsession has been suede purses I just think that they look so beautiful and so classic. So the first one that I bought, I actually found at H&M. I think it was on clearance because I paid $10 for it. It's this beautiful kind of chocolatey color. It's almost the exact same color as that Amazon set that I'm obsessed with. <laughs> so if you've seen me share that in a previous video, this bag literally goes perfect with it. And I really like it because of the gold hardware, which again, I'm a huge fan of. And it just has a little magnet snap, which I thought was kind of cool too. So yeah, just a really cute bag. And like I said, I'm very into suede right now. And then the next bag that I got is also suede. And this is my first expensive bag. <laughs> so it's definitely not expensive 
in terms of like designer products like it's not a hermes it's not a bottega veneta <laughs> but full disclosure i paid a hundred dollars for it which to me is like the most i've ever spent on a purse ever in my entire life so it was a big investment for me but it's this beautiful kind of bucket bag suede purse it definitely pulls a little bit more green than i anticipated when i saw it on the website i thought on the website it was going to be a little bit more brownish but i actually think it worked out perfectly because since this one is much more brown i actually liked that this one was more on the green end i'm a neutral girly at heart but i love a green moment and this color is so pretty i also think that it's really nice now for the summer and it'll be nice for the spring it's also very like fall and i do like having shoulder bags that are very close to my armpit that's just my personal preference but i do like that the straps you can adjust it so i'm always looking out for pieces that i know that i will be able to use for many years to come because you know people change your life changes but i like to think Think about things that can change with me if that makes sense so like if for whatever reason a year into the future i'm like you know what i hate having bags up to my armpit now i want them to be longer i like the idea that i can just move this up and i have a longer strap <laughs> so those are all things that i've been kind of conscious of i think i've also mentioned in previous videos that i'm trying to do like a cost per wear analysis of the things that i buy my goal this year has been to kind of be bougie on a budget i obviously want to live like a really nice and bougie feeling life but i like to spend the majority of my money traveling and gaining experiences so i basically pick and choose where i want to spend my money if that makes sense so when i got this bag i wanted to be sure that it was going to be worth it for me and so far it definitely paying itself off slowly but surely because i have worn it a bunch of times the only thing i wish that it had and i think i might add them myself are little feet at the bottom so that the bottom doesn't get uh damaged when you're like setting it down and all of that so i might look into buying some little feet for it and i also like suede because i feel like even as it gets damaged it just looks really nice i don't know i like things that look rustic and kind of beat up a little bit i mean it's part of my house aesthetic too to have kind of like rustic and antique pieces so i think it's also really nice when you have pieces like leather because this is real leather that's why it was a little bit more expensive i know that it'll kind of like age well if that makes sense so yeah i'm just obsessed with this bag the other one as well but that one's definitely it was only ten dollars so i don't know how long i'm going to be able to have that bag but this one for sure will last me a pretty long time the next item i've been loving Loving is for my ADHD girlies this strap for my phone it's just so convenient I would always lose my phone like I would put it down somewhere and then just completely forget where I put it so before I bought this strap there was one day where I just hit rock bottom and I was searching for my phone for like 30 minutes straight maybe even longer and I was like that's it i need to find something to fix this because i cannot be wasting so much time in my life <laughs> searching for my phone so i was watching one of Alyssa lenore's vlog and she had a phone strap and i'm like that's genius like she uses it more for travel just to have her phone handy on her and you know just in case there's like pickpockets or something but i was like that is perfect for me to literally wear in my house <laughs> because i will never lose my phone so sometimes maybe you're wearing pajamas or your pants just don't have pockets girls i don't know why they do this to us or sometimes i will have pockets but i just will get tired of like taking it in and out of my pocket so i'll just place it down somewhere and that's where i lose my phone so now i have a strap so i can just have it over my neck or on, along like this in my shoulder and just have it handy as as i need it or sometimes i'll like take a picture and then like drop it adjust pictures take it again so it's just so convenient i think also if you're like a mom and you have to have your hands free like this would be a perfect option this specific one also came with a little wristlet option which i thought was so convenient because maybe you don't always want to have the long strap you have the short strap option as well and basically the way that it works is you have this little thing that you slip between your phone and your phone case and then you have the little strap and then it does have a little clip so you can take it off at any point so for example if i want to unclip myself I just take it out like this and that's it it just has this little thing there which i personally don't mind but my phone case is easy to take off so if i wanted to take it off i could but i like to have it handy so i can strap in <laughs> whenever i need it so it's just a very convenient piece and it was super affordable i think i paid like 16 bucks for the set of two things really great product i just wish that i had had it earlier it would have saved me so much time and the last product is another kind of like self-care product and that's the wow dream coat spray if you saw my previous video on things i regret 
regret buying you probably saw i talked about olaplex there i was not a huge fan of it but i was still looking for a product that would provide heat protection and calm down a little bit my very frizzy hair so i tried this one and it's been so good first i love that it doesn't have a scent because like i said one of the things i didn't like about the olaplex was how strong and like sweet it smelled this one has no scent at all which i think is amazing i also much prefer the application of this one because the olaplex one is like a really thick cream almost and you have to like spread it through your hair and i don't like how it feels on my hand and even when you wash it off i feel like you can still feel it and like i said it smells really really strong so it like stays on your hand but this is just a spray so it's so convenient i just like and then comb it through and it works perfectly and my hair just looks so healthy i don't know like this is after I think a day i think i washed my hair yesterday the product does need heat to activate and to work properly so i did give my hair a bit of a blowout blow dry with my blow dryer hairbrush and it just looks so good it looks so healthy like i said this was from i think last night i did it so i already slept on it that's why it's a little bit frizzy on the top and it still looks so good and it does look very smooth and glossy and healthy so i'm just so pleased with it especially in the summer my hair gets so frizzy with the humidity so i desperately needed something to help my poor hair and yeah this was like a miracle worker for me like <laughs> i am so happy with this so i would definitely recommend especially if your hair texture is similar to mine where it's like very thick but also very porous i think it would work really really well as you can see my hair looks great <laughs> but those are my recent favorite products y'all know i love a practical product so i love sharing items with you that i use on a daily basis so all the items i love are always very useful and i hope they'll be just as useful for you as they are for me don't forget to follow me on instagram where I'm constantly sharing some of the new products that I love and make sure that you subscribe and I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye!